Set my heart on fire for you, for you, oh Lord, set my life in order for you, for you alone, oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you, hey, for you alone, oh Lord, set my life in order for you, for you alone, I want to burn for you, oh, hey, I want to live for you, I want to walk for you, oh my goodness, hey Lord, oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you, for you, oh Lord, set my life in order for you, for you alone. Hey, oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you. Ah, oh my God, I wish I had those vocals to drag that song. Hey, God, oh. wow. Wow, 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 wow. Father, I worship you. Father, I bless your name. Father, I honor you. Father, I praise your name. Alle, alleluia. Alle, alleluia. Alle, oh, alleluia. Alle, alleluia. Sing 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 hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Sing Hallelujah, Amen. Oh God, oh, hey Papa, hey, Father God, I thank you. I come before you at this first hour of the morning to say thank you. Thank you for this thirtieth day of this thirty-one days journey. Wow, <laughs> oh Papa. You are such an awesome God. Only you, only you, only you, Papa. I give you all the glory, Papa. You know it all, Papa. What can I say? I lift it all up to you, Papa. You are the mighty God, the great I am. My hallelujah belongs to you. Papa, continue to use me. Continue to send me, I will go. Oh, Jesus, it's all about you. Continue to increase while I decrease. Continue to teach me how to surrender it all, how to sacrifice it, how to persevere through it all with all the joy that is in serving you, all the joy that is in going through all the trials and tribulations for your name's sake. Holy Spirit, quicken those hearts. 
Those people who are still dilly darling and on the sidelines, neither hot nor cold, wondering, should I give my life to Jesus? Should I come unto him? Oh, Holy Spirit. I know you did not set me on this assignment for nothing. Do what only you can do. In Jesus' name I have prayed this morning. Amen. My special LHM tribe. Wow, good morning. This is day 30. Can you meet? Yeah, I am also excited. I am I am amazed. I am wow. Day 30. And by grace, I have been able to stick to my father's wish to do this in the first hours of the day. <laughs> there were some days even like today and it was like you can do it during the day now you've already been through enough for this day and i was like catch me uh -uh. and then uh, i wasn't looking forward to dressing up like this and well holy spirit said dress up like that and he gave me the reason you know because i was just like ah this is winter thing oh what is this now he said i want people to know that wherever they are, if they are determined to go forth, if they are determined to uh, uh, put into practice these words of Jesus that we are going to see shortly in the last book of Matthew chapter 28. Oh my goodness. If they are determined to put these words into practice, no snow will hold them back. No sun will hold them back. No nothing, no fever, no nothing. Because to stand here and do this, uh, there were days in this week where uh, the temperature, the sneezing, the everything. And I said, Holy Spirit, help your girl. Oh. And he did. So, seriously. And even, I have heard of people who were sick, had cancer, had all kinds of things, were lying on their bed and were still ministering to people while on that bed, to the nurses and everything. So, it, it, there's no excuse. Let me not run too far ahead. You know, um, the whole... The whole vision between uh, behind this assignment was to use my own life, my own life's experiences, to invite people to come unto Jesus and to make a solid case. And I hope I have done that. And I was giving topics for each day, and um, I've come at it. And today is the last but one day. And the topic for today is come unto Jesus to go ye forth. You know, when you discover something beautiful or you go to, you find a shop where they're selling all kinds of wonderful things, there are people love shopping. Or, you know, a restaurant, a good restaurant where they sell all kinds of good food. Or, you know, any beautiful thing, you want to go and tell some other person. You know, like Andrew told his brother Peter, who wouldn't have known Peter, if not of his brother Andrew. You know, and me, I have my sister, Clint, when I read anything online, and she does that now too, I just stack my sister. I say, hey, let my sister come and read to her. Let's discuss it, you know, and stuff like that. And we share things, and we discuss them, and it helps us to grow. So just imagine that you don't do that only with people, you know, you just do that with everybody. And I think that was the whole um, idea when Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, comma, teach all nations, so that some people will be so good in teaching, they should go and teach. And now with technology, you can teach from anywhere. You don't need to actually go like physically. You can just get up from your bed, set up this thing and start teaching. You know, you can go, go ye therefore. Teach all nations, teach everybody, go to the villages, go to the, the um, what I call it, woman, woman country, bush, <laughs> go abroad, go to the villages, go everywhere, go online, everywhere, teach all nations, comma, and then baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. There will be those who will be good at baptizing, those who have been taught, you know. Yes, and make sure you are baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. There is no dividing them. Wow. 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So there is, and when you baptize them, you have to teach them. Again, that is not discipleship. Teach them, teach them, teach them to observe all things 
that Jesus has commanded us. Jesus, Jesus commanded his first disciples. All things, including, including the greatest commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. And he, Jesus said he did not come to abolish the law. He came to fulfill it. Meaning that the Ten Commandments are still as valid. So it means that Jesus still expects us to do some work. To observe. You don't just, oh, I believe, and you sing and you lie on your bed and that's it. No. You have to do that work to show the observation. You don't have to lie. You don't have to kill. If you love your God, <clears throat> even if you have a cold, even if it's winter, even if it's summer, 100 degrees, whatever degrees, if he says, get up and talk, if he says, Oh my God. And he says, And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Even unto the end of the world, the remotest village, or be it Mangambafu, uh, whichever one, Kyo, Kyomasi, any village, he is with you. There. If that's where he has sent you, that's where he has sent you. Not everybody will wear this thing and go to Manchester or to brussels or to new york or to uh budapest or to i don't know iceland finland no some like myself one village after the other and those kind of things yet i am assured that jesus is with me so when i came to jesus I, I wasn't really taught, you know, uh, so I just started dabbling on my own like that because I was not, um, I didn't grow up, you know, in a church family, you know, uh, some people might go to church, but that's not a church family, just, we just go to church to just mark name, so uh, we just go and after one hour, one and a half hours, it's finished, you go home, and then next Sunday you go back and they do the ceremony and everything. And you, uh, there's, that's not it. And then I went to a boarding school, but I was still dogma, 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 dogma. Then I went to a high school where it was a bit different, but I was just there for two years. And then after I went to a university where it was why, 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 just do what you want. And I also just went why. So I was just going like that to back to where I was going to before. Just going and doing whatever crazy thing I was doing. You know, and I'm not only one of that many people in the world who just go, go to church and then go back home and continue living what kind of shaggy life they're living. And then one day, some crash like I did, and some don't. It's too, too bad. But when it happened and I gave my life to Jesus, I started to realize gradually, this is so beautiful. And I cannot even pretend, I cannot hide it. For example... It, it becomes kind of a reflex that if I'm doing a video, even if it's not really to talk about <laughs> the gospel or all of that, I just think of my hair. That wasn't me before. Why? I think of, I'm, I'm kind of conscious, like, am I covered up? Why? Even if the Holy Spirit doesn't tell me, I'm just conscious, I'm just reflex. And it's not only this outer thing, it's the inside. Is the reverence? Is the this? Is the that? Like going out of my way, for example, to to go to church, knowing fully well that it's going to cost me a lot, a lot, and I mean a lot, not in terms of money you know, or many other things. But I went, and um, that was also for me another way of going into the world to show people. That there's joy in going forth in 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 in, in, in how do I call it uh, in drawing near to God, in serving him, in worshiping him in fellowship, in spite of everything. Yes, that was it. And then when I came back, I was tired and I mean I've been up like sing, 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 sing. sing. Uh, I had just like one hour of sleep in the afternoon. So when I came back, it was like lie on the bed and then just sleep. But it was already like 9.30 and I 
I didn't want to trust that bed, you know, and I, I just said, no, let me sit on the chair. You know, at 11 o'clock, I have to pray for my pastor. At 10 p.m., I like to pray for myself and for my sister and all of that and all of those things. So if I lie on that bed, no. I sat on the chair. I did doze up some, yet I was on the chair. And so I decided that at midnight, I'm going to do this video. And after I do this video, I'll spend the next 30 minutes um, with my church. We have the crossover prayer from midnight to 1 a.m. If <laughs> they've sent the link, you know, they might also be tired. And then I'm going to join them for those 30 minutes. And then I will sleep, you know, and uh, it, those are the kind of things that you will have to do when you go forth. And Jesus will not only be with you, he is also giving you people to help you, to teach you. Look, this dress was given to me by my mentor. Her name is Bishop Beryl. She's the founder of Church Without Words Evangelistic Association in, she's based in Ghana, in Kumasi, Ghana. Beryl Esembe Nalova. Church Without Words Evangelistic Association is written CWWEA. Oh my God. I connected with her. No. I first heard her speak in 2013 and I finally connected with her in 2019 but I was following her online and everything. That was somebody the Lord put on my path and eventually connected us in a way that makes her my spiritual mother where I am today. She likes to call me her sister, her daughter, all kinds of names, you know, and stuff like that. And um, yeah, uh, uh, I've learned a lot from her and I keep learning a lot from her. And this dress has such a value. She gave me other ones. But for some reason, this is the one that the Lord has chosen to, to use like the garment that he clothes you with. So it's, it's it, in the beginning, I could wear it anyhow. Then he said, no, 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 no. Sometimes when he says, put it on and then go pray for such a person or go do this. And then I do it and it was, and it's like, wow. So I don't put it on anyhow. So when he said, put it on today, I was like, okay, Papa. I'm going to somewhere and he's like, make sure you take this dress along. I'm like, okay, Papa. So this is it. I have been taught and I, I continue to be taught. And so when you will come to Jesus, because I'm already just assuming that many people have made up their minds to come to Jesus. All this gallivanting and trying new age and whatever tarot, carrot reading and palm reading and astrology and all of those things. They don't lead you to nowhere. I've tried some of them and it's just crazy the frustration, the depression, the desperation, the anxiety, the envy, the bitterness, the jealousy. What's the difference? It's even worse. Worse. Witchcraft, all those things. Ah. So when you come to Jesus, you're not going to be alone. And you shouldn't even be alone. Anyway, Jesus has said it now. He's not going to leave you. He's going to be with I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Whoa wherever you go he will be with you he is with you you see and when jesus comes you know that the father is showing up the father is there the holy spirit is there so what's your problem and tomorrow we are going to see the father himself telling us expressly that he will never never leave us nor forsake us he tells us if you draw near to me i will show I will reveal myself. Oh my goodness. And it's a reward of those who diligently seek him. We have seen all. It's on YouTube on our channel. You can just watch all the 30, 31 episodes as of uh, tomorrow the, when I'll do the last one. It's a beautiful series. I myself, I didn't even know it was going to be this way. So I really want to thank the Lord. And I want to just really encourage someone. Come. Not only come so that your life can be transformed as your mind is being renewed. But also so that you can now go forth, you know, and tell other people, you know, the woman at the well, oh my goodness, you know, scripture and a lot of theology, they say, oh, that was the first evangelist. She was like, hey, come and see, oh, come and see. She was like, ah, I've never met somebody like this, so who has told me everything about myself just like this? And he's not even talking to me as if he's accusing me, he's condemning me, he's throwing stones at me. Oh, no. And that is how everybody, many people in that village they gave their life to so they were like, hey, we want you, Jesus. Oh my God, that's so, so wonderful, Jesus, they do. So why wouldn't you want to serve him? 
And you don't need to be called to any office as an apostle, a prophet, pastor, teacher, evangelist. You don't need any of those formal titles. If you are not called to it, you are not called to it, but you are, we are all called to not just receive him, but to receive him now and go and go forth. What a beautiful thing it is to serve the Lord. Oh my goodness. Go ye therefore. Go ye therefore. Go. Don't just come to Jesus and just stay there at his feet like that. Well, you can't even do that anymore. You know, he has not come again. By the time he's coming again, he's coming out to judge. And so in the meantime, if you want to say spiritually I'm at his feet, okay, fine. Physically, go. Go. Stand behind your phone, behind your laptop, go. Go to the village, go to your own village, at your job site, anywhere, go. Hey, may the good Lord help us all. Oh, Papa, I'm so grateful. My goodness. Ah, la, 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 la. This thing is so warm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so grateful. Ah. Hey. Look, that thing that happened to you, you don't even know how to talk about them, you know. So you just say, I thank you, Papa. I thank you, Papa. I thank you. Yet, when you come to Jesus, some experiences will be so soulful, you'll be like, no, I, 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 other people should come and experience it too. Now, I cannot keep this to myself. No, that would be selfish. So all I can tell you is that, the, hey, there's something special, something sweet, something wonderful, something marvelous. The world cannot offer that to you. So come on, and then when you come, you receive, yeah, Go ye therefore. Okay. Father God, thank you. I just want to make you proud, Jesus, my God. For all you've done to me, and all you've done for me. Ah, I am yours, oh. I surrender all to you. Withholding nothing, no matter how much it costs me, Jesus, I know you are not leaving me. That's what you say in your word. And I'm so grateful that I have the Holy Spirit with me 24-7. Holy Spirit, do it to all your, all your servants, all, about the world, all those who are going forth already. And even to those who are still teaching, those who are just coming and baptizing them. Just continue to strengthen everyone. Strengthen them, fill us up. Give us more and more testimonies. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen. Okay, everybody. Uh -huh. I'm getting emotional. Wow, this was the 30th episode. So, by grace, tomorrow around the same time for the last one. Okay, let's see what the Lord will do. In the meantime, have a good night for those who are sleeping. Good morning for those who are just waking up good day um this is friday right yeah so there's going to be a green day for many people in my um, country online community um we lost a kidney warrior kidney advocate kidney care advocate yeah and today will have been a 42nd birthday so we have to do that um wear green and use some tags and everything and i'm looking forward to participating my own green is already hanging there so yeah we thank god for everything hmm. why you still live do the best you can right to serve the lord and bring other people to his knowledge to know him hmm. bye god bless us all <laughs>